We try to film something which might be perceived as boring, but when in this boredom you have some something special, like I mean the duration of this boredom, it's also might might give this special I don't know flavor to this boredom, and it becomes not boring anymore. In one moment we like understand that. There are no any new words to describe what we want to describe, so let's let's show it. Let's make image. We, we just keep it simple, so we don't want to fail with some like cin cinematic production. We just like we, we focus mostly on the like, composition and time of the frame. Of course, we did um, a lot of work uh, that uh, was related to the last project that we filmed in the, in south of Ukraine, in the recently liberated city of Kherson, and we've um, we've been editing it and we've been doing some post production here. This is Kherson Regional Local Law Museum, yet another institution in Kherson that Russian forces robbed before withdrawing from the city. This is where we will restore Room 10, ancient cities of the Northern Black Sea region. The sound was recorded in the room, and it's a, you know, a sound not just a, not just a post-production or something like this. It's like the, the, this very, very thin line between this peaceful uh, absence and the real war is so thin, it's like, and so close, so it's, it will be only worse uh, always when we said that all these explosions was around like five, six kilometers from the museum, yeah. You see just this absence, right, and these explosions, but when you see backstage images, we were all in this uh, vests and helmets and uh, it was like a war zone and it was so interesting to film absence uh, with no people, without any anything that reflects the horrors of war, straightforwardly, but you risk your life by doing it. At least it's a film about remembrance, and it's also a film about the possibilities to bring it back. We, we tried to create this feeling that it was like a bad trip. You know, it was a bad trip, it was pause, it was like bad party. So then, okay. Let's go and uh, let's again back to the, to the story, to the history. On this pedestal, we will install a hewn and polished fragment of a white marble column on which the text dedication to Apollo prostrate is carved. I hope the text will not be damaged and we will be able to read it again if we can find it. We fell. A big contradiction between, I mean, like current work about the uh, Kherson Museum, yeah, and all this environment. The film industry, it shapes your, your, your frame, you know, your eye frame. The whole city becomes like a surreal world or something. Now I can say that for the last two months, we really, we really find this distance that is important for every artist. We can, like, mm, rethink in the last year the, the last very hard year uh, for all Ukrainians and for artists and for us from this perspective and it's 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 really like it's very important and there is this silver lining when something like war is happening in your country and you are deeply involved in the context then you you think a lot and then you reflect a lot and then you produce a lot but I you know wish it would be could be the opposite I don't need no silver lining.
we were like afraid that this is like the film place, yeah? You know, I'm we're afraid, afraid that... I'm yeah, yeah, I'm afraid. still afraid too.